Hello and welcome to another Lake Erie ice video, episode number three, part three. And uh, today I've moved along the coast a little bit from Crystal Beach, which I'll go back to very, very shortly. And I've come to Port Coburn to check out the ice here. And just to let you know, I've not seen Lake Erie since last Sunday. So this is all going to be a bit of a surprise to me whether it's got a lot of ice or not. Even though I live right by Lake Erie, I tend to drive the opposite way for work. And when I come home, it's always dark. So anyway, I'm down at Nickel Beach in Port Coburn. And I'm just about to see the water now. And I can tell you, there's a lot more ice. <sighs> so this is Nickel Beach right here. Jesus. We'll just walk a bit closer to the uh, the water's edge. Different camera today. I'm using a GoPro for this bit. It's easier to carry around uh, with an external microphone, as you can see. So in the past week, six days, we've had a lot of temperatures once again at night time in double, di low double digits. So minus 15s, minus 18s, day times. I think the warmest day we had was like minus five this past week and the coldest being minus 10. So here you have it. Snowing over there on the lake, open water there. But as I look towards the west, it's a big buildup of ice there. So that'll be inter interesting to see when we go to uh, Crystal Beach later. All right, looking at the ice out there, just in front of me, you can see it's actually quite thin still. So I wouldn't even attempt to try and walk on that because literally just about 30 meters to my left, you can see where it's very shaded, which gives an indication that it's not very thick at all. It's pretty thin. And just a bit beyond that, there's still quite a bit of open water. Uh, now I do see people out over there and I don't have a zoom to find out what they are. So I hope they're not on uh, ski dudes out there. Hopefully, well, it must be strong enough for them to go out there and ice fish, I guess, because I do see a couple of uh, one, two, three things out there on the water. I just love coming down here, uh, regardless if it's winter or summer, just to check out the ships that are moored up here for the winter. Look at this. So these two here, uh, the Navigator, is it? I think it's called the Navigator. And this one's uh, CSL Niagara. They're moored up for the winter. There's another one up there. Then we've got this classic ship line here, the John D. Leach, which, Lech, which I think is actually being scrapped and not moored up for the winter. I want to say it's being scrapped. Could be wrong, so I'll leave a, a comment uh, below if you know differently. But I've got a funny feeling that one's getting ready to be scrapped. Anyway, check out the ice. Uh, the canal is pretty much frozen. There's a little bit of open water just underneath the bridge over there. But as you go out, right out into the uh, harbour in the very far distance, I can see a bit of water. But otherwise, the, uh, the canal is pretty much frozen over. Someone's put some chairs here. That's good. <coughs> Now, in the last video, I stated that the uh, NO, NOAA, NOAA, uh, they're predicting that the ice on Lake Erie will get to about 70% this year. Now, with this sudden cold snap, won't say sudden, but this cold snap right now, which has been quite prolonged, uh, we might exceed that. It all depends on how long this next warm spell lasts. We have a two or three day warm spell coming up middle of next week. Uh, then we go back into a sudden freeze again. Now, if that next freeze is prolonged, uh, we may start seeing more than 70% ice coverage over Lake Erie. All right, back down in Crystal Beach. Now, what are we going to find down here? Not been down here for nearly a week. And let's have a look. Hmm, not bad. Not bad. Can you see that? Not bad.
All right, you can see there's a lot more ice down here than the previous week. Oh, by the way, it's the next day now, it's Sunday. So uh, yeah, there's uh, not as much water as there was yesterday when I was here either. Uh, a lot of thin ice out there, I can see. Lots of sheet ice and the wind has pushed a lot of the ice up here. But it looks like we have an encroaching snow system moving in, which is probably the tail end of that storm, which is uh, battering the East Coast right now. Uh, but look. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed those drone shots. That's only the second time I've ever flown my drone. So there you go. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, Great Lake Surface Environmental Analysis is showing the Great Lake coverage here. Look at Lake Erie right now. It's only a little blob just off Long Point, which is showing warm water. The rest of it is now turned to ice, which leads me to this. We're now at 80%. It's now been updated. We have hit, we've gone above what they were expecting. And the forecast is now showing uh, that the ice will probably peak in the next few days before it just starts to ease off a little bit. And, of course, it all depends on the weather, and we do have a little bit of warmer weather coming in the next couple of days. All right, that's about it for this video today. Uh, I'll be back next week for another update on Lake Erie Ice. Uh, please check out my other videos on my YouTube channel, and also please make sure you like and subscribe for future videos on my channel. Uh, most appreciated. In the meantime, stay safe, stay warm.